What's up guys, it's Josh Mosman here, the new assistant editor of Motocross Action Magazine. Today we're out at Milestone and I'm testing the new 2019 Yamaha YZ125. <laughs> This bike hasn't changed much over the years and because of that we want to bag on Yamaha for neglecting their two-stroke line, but we still have to give them some credit. We've never seen a manufacturer produce a bike that's still somewhat relevant 13 years later. For 2019, the only update on the two-stroke is bold new graphics. In 2018, they changed the rims to blue and in 17, it was a bigger front rotor and new brake pads. The last major change on the YZ125 was back in 2006. Nowadays, if you wanted to ride the 2006 model of basically any other bike, it would be considered vintage. But you can still ride the 2006 YZ125 or 250 and be on what's considered a decently modern bike. The Kayaba SSS forks were added in 2006 and they are still some of the best stock forks on the market today. The SSS stands for Speed Sensitive System and it gives the forks a more linear dampening curve which means it starts out firm and steadily gets firmer as it goes. There are no dips in the damping curve and this gives the stock forks an awesome smooth feel on the track. In 2006 we absolutely loved this bike and we still have a soft spot for the two stroke but it's slowly being left behind. With KTM and Husky updating their two-stroke line, it's getting harder and harder to be competitive on the Yamaha. We found that from zero to 8,000 RPM, the Yamaha has more horsepower and torque than its Austrian competitors. But once the KTM gets going at 7,000 RPM, it blows past the YZ. At 7,000 RPM, the Yamaha has one extra horsepower on the KTM. But by the time we get to 9,500 RPM, the YZ is down a horse and a half. The Yamaha's horsepower peaks at 35, while the KTM is three horses ahead at 38. With all this being said, it's easier to ride the Yamaha, but harder to go fast on it because the KTM is so much more powerful. <laughs> If you're looking to have a competitive bike in the 125 class, you'll need to spend some money on modifying your Yamaha. The price gap between the brands does leave a little wiggle room to mod. The YZ125 retails for $6,499, while the KTM is $700 more and the Husqvarna is $800 more. The Yamaha will take a little bit of work to be as good as the stock KTM or Husky, but if you're just looking to have fun, it's hard to beat the YZ125. And for the complete test on the 2019 YZ125, check out the April issue of Motocross Action Magazine and for all the latest on bike tests, news, and racing, check out motocrossactionmag.com. And to stay connected with the Motocross Action Wrecking Crew, follow us on all the social sites, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and even Snapchat. Hey, have you seen any of the latest two-stroke videos? If you haven't, click these below.